What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Weekly Chime. Today we have Chris Gonzalez, digital marketing manager, right over at uh, yes. over at Chime. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Man. I I like to think of uh, it as more of a marketing manager for clients rather than just digital these days. But but yes, that is True. the the professional title. Yes. Yeah, Chris. Chris is everything marketing. So when you guys think of like, I think today, Chris, what I think we should try to get out of this whole webinar is that we want clients to think of Chime more as an all all in one platform versus just I, I'm a CRM. Uh, you know, an IDX website and occasional Facebook and PPC marketing. And so I hope today that we can learn. I hope I learn a lot from today. So I'm going to kind of sit back because you have a bunch of new stuff that you're here to talk about and I want to hear about it. So Chris, fill us in. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. So the importance of it is, is that a lot of people look towards Chime and marketing as, you know, just the digital aspects. You know, they're thinking, hey, I want to do PPC hey, I want to do Facebook dynamic carousel ads. You know, those are great, but sometimes they don't think of the rest of the marketing efforts that you can do. So I wanted to really start off with a graphic that I built for a webinar I did about a week ago with Tristan here. And do you see my screen? Yeah, I do. We got you. With, with the graphic? Oh, Tristan's here too? Oh, What's man. Up? Yeah, so, so uh, yeah. This, really, this really encompasses Chimes Marketing right here. So... When you think of marketing, you have to think of everything. And I have a few things not listed in the actual web of marketing that I created here. But you have to think of like, you know, when you send out postcards, that's a form of marketing. Text codes, that's a form of marketing when you're using text codes on your signs in front of, in front of your own listings. Any networking events. Um, if you hold open houses and you use our forms, you're collecting information, bringing it to your CRM. It's a form of marketing, right? Uh, we have yeah. door knocking in, in our app. You know, and, and that helps you as you're door knocking to, to use your phone uh, to add leads into your CRM based on the address you're at. Um, you know, so really great ways of marketing. And all those drive back to either the website or the CRM. Well, I wanted to list these as the paid marketing things that we can, uh, you know, utilize, but as well as social and how to think of it as social um, and even include your postcards into your overall marketing web, right? Because the, the goal yeah. is, and I really highlighted this at the bottom, the goal is bringing people to your CRM. And if you're just thinking Google PPC, well, there's a big gap missing there because there's branding you could be doing. Uh, there is all the clicks that come in from your PPC that aren't registering, right? And that's a majority of your leads. Um, and just a quick example, I'll jump over to our demo account here that we use. Um, you know, this is a preview of a CRM and how we report our data in the CRM so that you have clarity on what we're doing for the paid marketing. And you can see here, there's 1,266 clicks and 135 leads. Well, this is on average with almost anyone across the US, right? So there's 1,100 leads in fall off that have come to your website, learned about you and decided to leave. Um, and so that's what this all encompassing marketing here does is they can either go to your website and become a part of your CRM. And if you're not doing anything on the side after that, that's it. But what, what we can do here is create some remarketing campaigns through social and end up driving them to your CRM. And that doesn't just include your Google PPC. It, it includes branding that we can uh, push into retargeting, any seller campaigns we can push into retargeting. Uh, we have the, our dynamic campaigns uh, that we can either do for cold acquisition or for retargeting um, and anything social that you're doing, right? If you're creating organic social posts and or using our social studio that we launched this year and we're making improvements on biweekly, that if you're now pushing out information on especially Facebook and Instagram, I can create an engagement audience of people that engage with your organic social that now is pushed into a retargeting campaign and ends up in the goal of uh, pushing towards your CRM. And alongside of that, you have to think about like, you know, when someone's on Google, how often do you search, right? How often do you search something before you find a website and you don't search that ever again? You know, you may search it one, one more time, uh, but you're not gonna go intent intentively search uh, homes for sale in a certain area, right? You're gonna find a couple websites and then you're gonna rely on those websites, whether it's Zillow, Realtor, Open Door, 
Redfin, whoever you're going to, or, or one of your sites, right? And once they do that, they're not going to do that search again. So the way we retarget, you have to think about how often a user is on social media at minimum once a day across the US. And that's, you know, hundreds of millions of users on the platform. And so that's the power of retargeting through social, even if you're doing cold acquisition on Google. And same goes for any of these other efforts that we can now retarget and push them into your CRM. And you have to be careful when you make these audiences um, because you want to make sure they're unique. They have different goals. In retargeting, our goal is to push them to a CRM, right? We also can do some remarketing to your already CRM clients. And what that is, is for re-engagement. Those are separate buckets and you don't want to mix these buckets. And it's not as easy as some, some might think um, through the audience builders. You want to make sure that those are unique audiences. That way you can measure those efforts. You can measure the cost on those efforts. And right now on our re-engagement, we're averaging about 85 cents per revisit, um, per verified landing page view or revisit to your website. So to re-engage somebody, it's quite cheap. You know, maybe their cold acquisition cost uh, was $20, $25, but now you're re-engaging them for another 80 cents. It's a really low cost, right, to, to create that re-engagement. On top of that, you can use some branding campaigns for information, and we can get those out to your CRM clients and or new clients and create that funnel from those branding campaigns as well. So really today, I wanted to highlight, you know, all aspects of Chime of marketing because there's much more to it. And once they get to your CRM, you know, not only are we marketing, but all the tools that Chime has to offer are your marketing tools as well. Smart plans. Those are email campaigns. Those are email drip plans, which are marketing plans. Uh, home report. That's a marketing tool. The AI assistant. That is a, a virtual marketing tool that helps you guys follow up with your leads. So, and if you're running paid lead gen with us, you're able to get that AI tool for free with any paid lead gen service that we have um, that you're doing through us. And so that way, let's say, you know, Brett, Tristan are getting 50 leads themselves per month. Well, per day, that's a lot of leads and follow-up starts to stack up. So relying on that AI as backup to qualify those leads for you that you can't reach out to right away uh, can increase your probability of closing or at least making that person a customer in the future. So relying on it, those tools we have. I call it buying your time back. <laughs> yep. Yep. It definitely is. It definitely is. Like I wish in my sales career, I had a virtual assistant backing me up. Right? <laughs> um, don't we, don't we so all? True. <laughs> so true. <laughs> and then property alerts, you know, those are set in increments, you know, three times a week. That's a drip plan that is highly engaging that I actually sign up for. I think I'm signed up for five separate accounts, clients of you guys, uh, property alerts. And I get them. Uh, I just signed up for Tristan's last week and I got an email from somebody, uh, you know, on the team. So, uh, um, you know, they're, they're, they're effective. You know, I look all <laughs> over the country for properties and I sort of dream shop, you know? So, uh, those, those property alerts work and they engage people with, you know, those new properties that are hitting the market. So rely on those tools. And then next I wanted to, to show you guys the, the power of, uh, our lead generation, um, and a couple highlights here. So I made a deck and this is deliverable. I'll probably post this in the group later on today um, so that people can see this deck. Um, but why Chime, you know, stands out. One of the big things is we're a certified Google partner. Um, Google recognizes us as a certified marketing partner because of all our DMAs, all our digital marketing analysts that work, including myself, have to be Google certified. And then Google can recognize us not only for the, the marketing analysts that work for us, uh, that are on our team. There's over over 10 here in the US and there's some uh, overseas, but we all have to be Google certified. And that helps Chime become a better partner, not only for us running ads for you guys, but because all of us know how to follow those best pra practices throughout that platform. Um, and then alongside of that, I wanted to just scroll down to a couple highlights here. There's a lot of talks about Google getting rid of cookies in the future. And Chime has everyone's back on that. We're doing what's called conversion or CAPI tracking. So as Google announces that they're gonna eliminate cookie tracking, we already have our data covered. So all of our retargeting and remarketing efforts will continue to work as soon as Google launches that announcement, um, which they postponed because of COVID, but 
could be happening in the future. But another thing that Chime has already developed to have your backs in marketing and to make sure that we can do those things for you guys and with you guys. And then next, I just wanted to highlight, you know, we've grown a lot in what we offer. So a lot of people talk about Google and Facebook and that's it. So Google has a couple different facets. Um, we can do Google PPC um, and just as anyone else can, right? Um, and, and I'll give you guys an example here in a few, but Google PPC and LSA ads, local service ads, which are only available in the US. Um, Canada doesn't allow local service ads at the Google My Business level or the agent level. Um, but they are allowed in the U.S. So that's one one thing that we've expanded recently. And we now have a Google My Business connection in the CMS tool so that you can show your Google My Business reviews on your, your websites uh, and import those. And you can also set up to where we can start some LSA ads for you. We now include Bing and Microsoft. And I know I showed you guys that data of the CRM and I'll quick quickly flash here. Bing, Bing data isn't showing up in our CRMs yet, but it is on the roadmap. So our Bing ads that we're running for you guys now will end up in the CRM to where you can see all the Bing data here in the next 30 to 45 days, we should have that integration built in. So Bing will be included. And sorry, I jumped to the wrong slide. So, so next I wanna include uh, you know, Facebook and Instagram and how that's expanded a little bit. One thing we're really pushing for is for those of you with some extra branding budget, we can build what's called a video views audience for your branding campaigns. So when somebody scrolls and stops, when you guys stop for three seconds, when you're scrolling on your social media and you stop and look at a sponsored ad and you watch a video for three seconds, that business can now retarget you. And we can do the same within our ads. So if you create some beautiful branding videos, maybe a customer testimonial, um, you know, something that touches the hearts about your brand and how you help and how you serve the community. We use that video for branding and we can now push those people that watch that video into a retargeting campaign and creating a true marketing funnel, a true progressive funnel that brings them in, warms them up about information about you. And now we're pushing them into a re re retargeting campaign. And with retargeting, we've been using these dynamic catalog campaigns and showing them listings. And it's a great way to engage those people that came in from a Google PPC that diverted. And, and now they're able to see some listings, slide through those listings dynamically and, and choose one. And when they choose one, they're gonna be sent right to that listing on your platform so they can view and or request a showing. And the power of that, if you guys go out and look on what's called Facebook's ad library, there's not a lot of people doing dynamic campaigns. Uh, it's very unique to us and very, very few other providers. Um, it is not an easy process to create a catalog out of your listings, but Chime does that for every single user. We can develop catalogs for all of your listings and build campaigns around. So really good highlight there. Um, Actually, YouTube branding. Chris, yeah. Chris if, you, if you don't mind real fast, if you're not mm -hmm. using dynamic ads right now, you are missing mm -hmm. the boat big time. Um, yes. I, I, I cannot stress that enough. Um, Facebook dynamic ads. It's like, I don't know how to describe this other than it looks like Amazon, like Amazon ads for, for houses, <laughs> which, which is awesome. And, and I, you are from what I understand, the old, pretty much one of the only people running that from what I understand. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I've seen I've seen like one other provider on Facebook and I, I didn't know if, I didn't dig it far enough to see if it was us or not, but I thought it was someone else just by the content. Um, sure. But I'm not positive because I don't see it very often. And I've seen and I, it one, yeah. time, one other time. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I know how to create the IDX feeds into a catalog feed myself on Facebook uh, manually. Yeah. So I know how to do that for someone outside of Chime. It's not easy. Um, yeah. But once you learn how to do it, yeah, you can do it in repetition. And Google actually has a catalog uh, feed, RSS feed link. So you build your catalog in Google and you can send it to Facebook Catalog Builder, um, okay. which makes it kind of cool. But a lot of people don't know that they kind of work hand in hand like that. Um, but yeah, those aren't easy for the average user. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it took me a long time to learn how to program that or write, write that to build the IDX feed into a catalog and make sure that it was updating correctly. Um, and I did that for a lot of e-com users before real estate. And so that's how I learned. Um, 
but yeah, from there, YouTube branding, you know, we can do YouTube branding and drive traffic on YouTube as well. It's the same exact company as Google. So it's a very simple process for us to run any of those videos. And we can run those to your YouTube channel. If you want to build your channel and information center, and you guys want to be a provider for your local neighborhoods, it's a great way to build up your channels to drive traffic to your channel within that local neighborhood, right? And you drive that engagement. So we can do that, or we can drive them to your website, to a landing page. You know, if the content is based on buyer tips, things like that, we can send them to a buyer tips page on your website so that that content matches the curated video. Um, you know, pretty good process there. And one of the big ones that I don't think a lot of people know that I'll highlight here is we offer geo farming and print marketing services. To me, this one's a huge one because as you come into Chime, if you're a new user, you have zero leads. You don't know where to start. We can provide you a list of leads within your neighborhood and we can tailor them down to certain specifics and, and criteria. And we have a team that we can refer you to uh, that can help you develop that list and or marketing strategies, whether or not it's a one-off for one month or a 12-month plan to feed that community with postcards. And there's a lot of people who ask, do postcards still work? Well, if you're doing it the right way, they can. And if you're including QR codes or text codes uh, and a level of measurement for that one-way marketing, it actually becomes a two-way marketing where you can measure the effects of it. Um, when I say one-way, you guys think of TV commercials as a one-way marketing. You guys see that information and there's no way to gauge besides the uh, TV analytics companies that provide how many people watched, but there's no real return that you can measure. So by GeoFarm, including uh, text codes and, and QR codes, we're driving people back to your website. Well, when you drive people back to the website, they're now becoming a part of this funnel where they're hitting your website and they can either register or they can go into a retargeting campaign that we use for our, our dynamic creative. So we can include your print and have print head right into the CRM, which I think is very, very powerful. And not only can we do these GeoFarm uh, services monthly or you know on multi-month plans and pre-packaged plans, we can do them a la carte and you guys can do them through your smart plans. So if you guys are recording close dates in your CRMs, those close dates are recorded at the lead profile level and you can't manually add a close date. You have to close a transaction and it will add a close date for you. And so when that close date is added, now you can send a postcard, you know, uh, on the anniversary of that close date to all your clients, right? You can also farm a list of people around that neighborhood or zip code and send just sold postcards to people around that property that you just sold. So there's quite a lot you can do within the postcards side that I wouldn't leave out if I were you guys. And our GeoFarm team has told us that even our handwritten letters or our letter service within that has, is really growing um, as far as the providing more information rather than just a postcard and sending a letter um, or some buyer or seller information, um, maybe even finance information through those letters. So you're really providing information that's captivating. You know, So great, great uses there for print. Um, not only that, um, you know, jump back and I know this is a little out of order here, but Facebook listing promotions, if you guys don't have a big budget, right. To start with our Facebook listing promotions are a great, great way to promote one of your just, uh, listings that you just signed. Right. So as soon as you sign that with, uh, you know, with somebody and your MLS recognizes that our platform actually builds you a landing page for that property as well. And so you can market that through paid through our listing promotions and they start at $99. And I think that's a good way for you to start developing leads for one of your own properties. It'll help you close and in turn, help you gain some revenue to then do some larger marketing efforts, right? So it's a great entry point to paid marketing. Um, but not only listing promotions on the paid side, our social suite, if you're, if you're uh, paying for the $20 pro version, or you are marketing with us with $900 ad spend or more, you get that social suite pro for free. What that social suite pro does is it auto posts that listing as the CRM builds that listing and that property for you, it can auto post it to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And I gave this example last week, say Tristan has 12 properties that he signs for this year and they go through new 
open ha- an open house at minimum, right? Because there's going to be an open house and they're going to hit the MLS as new. Well, that's two separate posting types in our auto posting. So that will take those 12 properties. And as they become new throughout the year, you'll have 12 automatic posts on your social media on four separate social media platforms and generating content and engagement and community level engagement is really the important one. People that are already your sphere, right? Um, for those listings. So it's going to post the 12 new uh, listings. And then as they go to open house, it'll post a new post for you that has some open house content. And our team can help you guys set that up. The Social Studio Pro, if you guys do have that. Um, And if not, I suggest at least using the free version because what that does is allows you not to go to LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter on its own on your phone separately creating 20 minutes of time on each of those platforms generating content. Well, now you can do that within the platform and you can curate that content from one house and be able to push that out to all of your social media platforms. And you can now measure engagement and new leads from those within our Social Studio Pro, which is a great feature. And not only that, we can send those engagers that don't register into a retargeting campaign on Facebook. So we can really encompass the whole view of it, right? Um, and so lastly, I put here, Instagram retargeting and remarketing Facebook and Instagram, um, a little bit of a discrepancy there in our retargeting. We primarily use Facebook. Um, the reason is the, the dynamic creative using a catalog and a lead form for retargeting is only allowed on Facebook. But when it comes to re-engagement, when I'm re-engaging your CRM audience, we can build that catalog. And we can serve it on Instagram and Facebook and in the stories placement. And when it's in the Instagram and Facebook feed, and that is a re-engagement campaign, that catalog that Tristan's mentioning that's like Amazon is, is many listings that show on your catalog that we built for you. So they could swipe through 300 homes and you can really engage them with looking at properties because there's not a limit to those carousel cards when it comes to our re-engagement campaigns. So it can really capture them, get them to look at a ton of properties um, and end up right back on uh, your website and re-engaging. So that's really the beauty. And that really encompasses all of Chime, like what we can do. But on our paid side, you know, we have a lot more to offer than just Facebook and PPC. And I wanted to really show you guys how that can work together. Chris, the, also, mm-hmm. the Facebook and retargeting, the Facebook and Instagram retargeting, mm-hmm. is that sometimes also similar to Facebook dynamic catalog because you're retargeting them with the catalog? Yep. Yeah, exactly. I'll use the catalog for those retargeting uh, efforts because usually what I've found, and and I know Brett probably understands this because he's recommending the dynamic catalog listings is that people just want to look at properties and people just want to look at homes and you can provide good videos and information on single images all you want, but it will not perform the same as a dynamic catalog. And I've tested this with numerous clients with seller campaigns with single images and you know of theirs and or informational or lead magnet campaigns um, where you're trying to uh, capture people with buyer tips or seller tips none of those perform as well as our dynamic campaigns Um, and it's very proven that that's what people want to do that's why people use zillow uh, open door realtor.com they're not attached to an agent and they can just look at properties for free you know, so um, that's the beauty of being able to do that dynamically is that I, I don't even see that with some of those larger providers. Um, so it's a way for us to to capture people on an, an you know, uh, social platform, really look at those properties and hopefully become uh, more engaged on your actual websites and inquire with you guys about business a little bit more so. Um, and then from there, I wanted to spark some ideas with you guys because I get asked this a lot. Do you have any examples of other clients you can show us? No, I do not. Because I can't do that. It's not fair, right? But I have something (laughs) better. I have something better for you guys. And I want everyone to kind of take note on this. This is what we use in conversation when we talk to clients. And Facebook is beautiful about giving us all this data, right? I'm going to highlight this. This It's called the Facebook Ads Library. And if you guys see here, I put in United States in the housing category. And I use the keyword Phoenix. Well, now I can look at all campaigns in July 22 that are active using the Phoenix keyword. 
So you guys can do this yourselves and you can see your own competition in real time. What videos are they using? What content are they typing out? What images are they using? How do they overlay their graphics? You can give you some insight on your own creativity for your own brand and how to film videos in the future, right? How to overlay your logos. And you can just sit here and scroll through and look at all these other real estate agents, videos, images, and that's live on Facebook at all times. So again, type in on a search, Facebook ad library, and then make sure that you put the housing category and just type in the keyword of whatever city you're in it to start. Mm -hmm. You know, there's micro locations within that. So I could type in, you know, Glendale. But if I type in Glendale, that could be Glendale, California, and that could be Glendale, Arizona. So remember, as you type these in, these keywords, uh, if there's overlap with other cities, you know, you'll get a, a variety. Um, but you can see active ads. Now, same goes for Google. And I encourage everyone to do this because you learn a lot about, you know, what you can do is do an active search. And this is a keyword here, what we call a long tail or phrase keyword. And it's a search term that people are using to find the content on, on Facebook. We all use search terms, you know, to find whatever content, the more specific you are, you usually get, you know, more specific sites that you're looking for. Um, and so do that, go out and search in your area and look at the ads that come up and whatever these ads look like and whatever they've customized, we can work with you to customize those. And that's what we do. Our team does is that during our consultation calls on PPC, right? We'll go over with you other ads within your area. And then we go over neighborhoods and keywords that we can add that are very exclusive to your area. And you wanna do that because if you're only building keywords, let's say centered around Phoenix, right? So is Zillow, so is Realtor, so is everyone else, right? Because that's a national recognized name, Phoenix. But if I'm using the word, let's say Arcadia, it's a very popular neighborhood in between Scottsdale and downtown Phoenix. Well, Arcadia is not a city. It's a neighborhood. But if we're adding specific keywords like that, your competition for that keyword is going to be much lesser. So there's ways that we can work and consult with you to capture some neighborhood keywords that are very specific that will eliminate some of that competition that is targeting a much general or more broad aspect of real estate within your community. And that's a way that we can get you guys lower cost per lead sometimes and even higher intent buyers rather than using keywords like real estate in Phoenix, right? And so I want you guys to understand that's what our team's here for as well, is consult with us about your neighborhoods. Chris? Yes, sir. We've got a question from Matt. It's a good question. He says, you guys have a lot of great stuff to offer and I love it. Do you have someone to handle all of this marketing setup, almost like a personal marketing assistant? So we, our team does that with you guys. Uh, we're not going to be there on every single you know, every seven days, we're not there, there for you. And the, the reason is, is we'll help you set up a lot of this marketing when we're doing it through our Charm services. But a lot of times with this marketing, you're going to set it and you're going to analyze data for 30 days and then you make changes. And so a lot of times uh, people expect to have a call weekly. We don't, we don't advise making changes weekly. So we set up calls with our clients monthly, but that's what we're here for is to consult with you. And we'll consult with you about, you know, Social Studio Pro, how to use it. Once we set that up with you, you'll be good to go. And you're probably not going to have much more questions for us, you know. And so we will help you through that. So if you guys need some help with anything throughout your campaign section of the platform, and I mean anything from the paper airplane icon, um, if you guys have any questions there, reach out to support and ask for a consultation from our DMA team. And they'll set that up and we have uh, a process to get a hold of you guys within 24 to 48 hours, respectively, to set up a call and meeting with you guys individually. Um, there are 10 of us here in the US and we do consult with everyone who does marketing with us, even if it's on a small scale and we only meet with you once for, for two months, let's say, um, but we will meet with everyone. And depending on budgets, larger budgets, right? Our team will meet with you more often depending if your budget's larger, you have more of a complicated marketing uh, effort and you're using more of that web, uh, there will be reasons for us to meet more often with you. So, awesome. Um, we do that. Chris, um, where where do they reach out to us so that they can talk to us more and, and do a deep dive, like a discovery call? Yeah, if you guys want to do a discovery right now, we do have a chat, which we're really trying to promote, uh, a chat with support section. So underneath the help icon, 
if you guys could go right into that chat and say, I would like a call with uh, a, someone from the marketing team uh, and discuss, you know, any marketing options that we have and how that can work for you. Um, just mention that in the chat and they can create a ticket for us. It comes right to us. So um, that process, when you send in that chat, as long as it takes them to create a ticket for our team, uh, you know, which less than five minutes, 10 minutes, our team gets a notification and we can then reach out pending our schedule. So remember again, you know, be patient with us, but we will reach out to you. So, and, and remember, never be in a hurry for marketing because if you do it wrong, there, there's no going back. So be patient with our marketing team, be patient with yourself and your expectations because you wanna set this up right. And if you rush to set things up, uh, you, you will and can do, do it wrong. So remember that, be patient because the lead you get today isn't gonna close tomorrow. And I know you guys know that, uh, you For know, sure, Tristan and, and, and Brett, because usually the lead time on a lead coming in is six to 12 months, something like that. So yeah, if it takes it us takes five days to set up your campaigns, you know, be patient. Let us take a couple of days to make sure we get it right as we set it up. And if you're forcing us to start overnight, just know that there's probably going to be something wrong and it's probably not going to be aligned with exactly what you want um, because we have a lot to go over and we have a lot to build with these. Um, and we do like to consult with you first so that we're doing it the right way from the beginning. I love it, man. You know what, Chris, I watched this. This is my second time on this and I loved it again. <laughs> this is good i appreciate that i appreciate that <laughs> dude thank you thank you for doing this um i have a feeling we're gonna need to do this like probably every quarter because things get added and things change so this was very valuable a lot of people asked if it was recorded yes this is recorded we're gonna blast this out to everyone that registered as soon as we edit it and then we'll also put it into the youtube channel for chime go ahead and subscribe there let me see if I can grab you the link so that you guys can get it. It should just be on YouTube, uh, Chime CRM. So there you go. And Let if you would like that deck, uh, Tristan, I'll email you that deck and you can include that deck, um, this PDF flyer that I made here. So oh, dude, if you guys would like to do that. Send that one over and we'll email it to everyone. So do me a favor, everyone. By the end of the day, just check your spam because sometimes, sometimes it goes to spam. So... Uh, last question, Jay says, do you, do you all include retargeting? If so, does the code permanently, permanently stay on the website? Uh, code. Um, I'm assuming on the retargeting. So like when you do it on Facebook, you have to put that, that Facebook pixel on it. So it retargets them. Ah, uh, so, so you guys know, if you're seeing my screen here, I have what's called the pixel helper, right? Um, we install this. Uh, pixel for everybody. So uh, I don't have an active site right here that has pixel, but if I was to pull up a site, you can pull up your pixel helper and you'll see that we have a pixel on there for you. And that pixel is on all of our users sites. So we're able to build your web traffic, your landing page viewers, people that have been to your site, we're able to build those for you. Now, if you'd like to do that on your own, that's uh, you know a little bit more complicated setup because you're going to have to go and install that analytics tool and then you need to uh, make sure that the conversion events as well on your site are recorded correctly. And what I mean by that is when someone registers on your site, that's a conversion event. Well, you have to code that and make sure that it's valid. And that goes the same on Google Analytics when you're, when you're running. Um, we make sure that we have conversion events for all our clients and that we can measure and we can optimize our campaigns based on target cost per acquisition. Um, and without having those conversion events built, uh, you won't be able to optimize using that optimization method on either platform. So it's something that is a little bit more complicated. There's a lot of articles on Facebook and on Google through Google Tag Manager on how to do that. It's not something I could teach you overnight, not even in you know weeks long worth of webinars. It's not something I could teach that most people would retain. Um, but I encourage you all to go learn it. Um, and, and you can do it on your own, but it is not a, an easy process. And then once you do learn, like I said, those audiences that we're including and excluding to make sure that your buckets are your CRM engaged, uh, CRM remarketing bucket and your mm -hmm. people that have been to your website that haven't registered. Remember those mm -hmm. have different goals and then we have different audiences. Well, that that is also a complicated process on making sure that those are very unique audiences and there's no overlap. There's no mixed messaging going out. 
And, and so that's the part that I really want to make sure you guys understand that if you market on your own, uh, read into exclusion audiences and read into how to uh, put those audiences into unique buckets, because that's where it'll help you measure and be effective. That is key, man. I think the that's probably an understatement because you could really focus on how important it is to target your audiences correctly with the right message because you get better conversion. So yep. great, great point on that. Matt has a question for you. Any updates on the new Chime CMA tool? It was last leaked uh, webinar earlier this year. Uh, well, our CM, CMA is live and they're making, they do make updates to it quite often. So recently the new updates to CMA would be the present yourself. And we're starting to add more templates into the buyer and seller templates. And so look out for those product releases um, that happen every two weeks. We kind of do a lot of product releases, um, but it's very typical of software, right? So just look out for those product releases and you can read on the new changes to our CMA tool. Um, but there's been quite a few recently. So um, you guys can all find those product releases. If you go up to the question mark and hit chime updates, you guys will see a list of all of our updates. Our last one is 3.51 and it includes quite a lot of information um, that has been updated. So you see there, and I don't see CMA tool in there, but on our last update, we did have some CMA updates. So please, I encourage you guys to, you know, sort of often check that because even I fall behind because of how often we update our system. You know, if I miss one of our own updated webinars, you know, I'll, I'll not know, you know, some changes that are happening on the platform. So. Yeah, I love it. All right. Anybody, if somebody wants to go over marketing strategies and implementing items inside of Chime with you, is that something that can be done? Or is it like when they go on, they get another professional in Chime like you? A, a lot of times because I have to protect my time as, as the acting manager, right? And just being quite honest with you guys, I will defer to a team member who, who suits your guys' needs and our platform size and our marketing budget size. Um, so we have, uh, you know, 10 different agents here in the U.S. They all mm -hmm. have different specialties that they, they shine for. And we try and match you up with somebody who's going to take care of you. Um, so just know that we all work together as a team. And if one of those people is missing a piece of the puzzle, we're all here as their backup. And I'm here as their backup as well. Um, but a lot of the times I won't be that face on your phone call. Uh, you know, so right, apologies. Man. I love it. That's okay, Chris. Dude, if this rocked. Thank you so much. We're having you back in 30 days. So get ready. Get ready for that. Everyone, if you have any questions, you know where to go to. It's inside of Chime. If you're not inside the Chime community, jump in there, ask questions. We have a whole bunch of moderators and admins that can help you out. And Chris, you're on there as well, man. So you can you can always reach out to Chris in there as well. So thanks for doing this. We appreciate you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being on.